I've just downloaded this uh, this program, Simple Screen Recorder, and so I thought I'd make a quick video showing you two things that I use and I really like. Um, one has nothing to do with permaculture, but um, <laughs> it has to do with computers, and the other is SketchUp. So the first thing, oh, one second. <laughs> the first thing is Ubuntu. Ubuntu is uh, the operating system that I'm using, which is the system that runs my computer. Um, I'm using. I bought just a normal PC. I formatted the hard drive, so wiped everything off, and then I installed Ubuntu. And this is what you get. Um, it looks a bit like the Mac operating system, um, and the main difference is it's free, and it's open source. Um, what does that mean? It means that anybody, any programmer in the world can look at the original source, uh, the coding, and improve upon it. Um, so you might be thinking, well, that sounds uh, very unsafe. Anybody can hack into your computer. That's not quite how it works. This, um, this um, system, the... Um, well, I've got stuck now. Anyway, it's not. <laughs> it's not unsafe. It's really safe, and it's free. Um, everything you get on here is free as well. There are some programs that you have to pay for, but mainly everything is free. There is um, a lot of support as well. If you have any problem at all, you can just uh, you know go onto the internet, whatever it is that uh, that you you need. For example, I wanted a. I was looking for this, the, the um, uh, screen recorder program for Ubuntu. So I just Google simple screen recorder for Ubuntu and then you have here, for example, a load of uh, videos and stuff on how to, you know, the best programs and what they do and all that kind of thing. And it was free. I didn't have to pay for it. Yeah. So it, unlike Mac, where everything costs a fortune, and Windows that has a lot of problems, um, everything here is free. You just go to the, it's a bit like the Mac store, but it's the Ubuntu Software Center, and um, you have a load of uh, free things here. They're all rated, um, you know, photography, painting, anything you could think of. And uh, yeah, it's open source. That means that somebody out there is dedicating their time to provide you something that is really good for free because they feel that, um, that they want to, that it's good, that uh, the internet should be uh, something that is uh, available to almost everybody and shouldn't cost you much money. Um, all of the updates are free. Everything is free and you have all of the programs that you would have normally so you can use Firefox uh, if you use Chrome you can use Chrome um, I have my internet browser the internet for people who are a little bit scared is exactly the same as, as it would be anywhere else this is what I've been doing today looking at pergolas um, I can close this so it's all exactly the same um, and I'll sh we'll get to now why um, why I've been looking at this pergola stuff. I've been listening to Terence McKenna and Rupert Sheldrake um, whilst I've been designing in the next thing that I want to talk to you about which is Google SketchUp. SketchUp is a 3D program, it's this 3D program that I'm using to make uh, designs, scale designs of the house that we're building. So today I was, I've designed all of this pergola and that's why I was looking at the um, at the plans of pergolas on the internet to get some ideas of, of dimensions and things like that. So the good thing about Google is you can put it inside Google Earth. Um, this isn't Google Earth uh, because I'm running Ubuntu um, and it's not a Windows or a Mac. Um, it's not really supported for for Ubuntu because it's not used by many people Ubuntu so um, it's not really supported so I don't have all the full features um, so that is one of the downsides of using Ubuntu that sometimes uh, the programs you want aren't supported but generally um, you can you can get what you need to done and uh, if there isn't the exact program you want there's a free version of it anyway back to SketchUp so I've been using SketchUp now to design 
um, the house to scale this is our project yeah and the excellent thing that I was saying is you can put it the geolocation in in Google Earth what does that mean it means that you can put your house in the exact location that it's going to be in um, and then you can use these features for example we're building I want our house to be passive solar which means it's heated by the Sun so what I can do is I design the windows to a certain scale and put most of the glazing oops, sorry most of the glazing on the south face and then look this is really great in SketchUp the, I've emptied out the inside of the building just because it was using up a lot of memory whilst I was making the pergola I have another design that I'll show you now with the inside of the building um, where am I where's this window where's the window not showing up for some unknown reason Okay, okay. Uh, that's funny, maybe it's got something to do with the fact that I'm recording. It shouldn't do. It says it's here somewhere. Anyway, okay. So I can't show you what I wanted to do. Let's see if I close this. Let's open something else. So, uh, no, go away. No. Okay, it's probably running a bit slow. Here we go. Here's an, the earlier design that I made without the pergola. And we have, that's the south face with the big windows. And then we have uh, the cupboards and a few things. Inside, you can design it fully to scale. Here we have a uh, living room. So living room area and kitchen, dining room. We've got stairs coming up here to the second floor, which I haven't bothered to design in quite yet. And here, up here, we're going to have some shoji style Japanese shutters because we want these two spaces to open up into one big space when we don't have guests and things. When we have guests, then uh, we can close this off and the guests can stay in this room here. Okay, let's see if what I wanted to do is going to work now. So, um, let's no it's not working for some reason anyway what you can do is um, which it's not letting me at the moment is you can uh, run the shadows through the time of day um, I don't know why it's not working now anyway so <laughs> Does it fail? So you can run the shadows through the time of day, and you can see the sh the um, the pattern that the shadow makes in the house, which is important to see how much sun you're going to get. And you can run that through the different times of year as well. So it will you you'll be able to see exactly how the light is going to move inside your house in the different times of year, which is essential if you're designing the house to let lots of light in and if you actually want to use the sun to heat up your house. Okay, so this video has probably been long enough. So I will leave it at that. I'll try and stop recording and see if I can fix the shadows and put up another video so that you can see the shadows. But there you go. And SketchUp, it's super easy to use. It looks uh, quite complicated, but it's not. And there's a million different um, tutorials on the internet of, of how to use it. So there you go. All right, thanks for watching.